Hi, I'm Alex Dutchbury and welcome to Art Class, a series of videos teaching you the key skills needed to create great art. In this video I'm going to show you how to construct your own pop-up mechanisms so you can make a really interesting interactive book. Here's the objectives. Understand the different mechanisms that can be used in a pop-up book and learn how to maintain quality when manufacturing the mechanisms. So in part two, we're going to look at more complex designs. So in part one, we were looking at the basics, simple methods to make some bits pop out and get it for better elevation. But this time we're going to construct more complicated mechanisms. So watch carefully and rewind the video if you need to, so you can see how each one's created. Off we go. Side tab mechanism. With this mechanism, you have a central point and then two arms coming off that point. Each arm has two folds, which will fold down and under the main object. So in this basic example, I've got a central piece and then I would fold twice the arms underneath. So it will spring out and stand apart from the actual base it's going to be stuck on. So putting that into practice, here's an Apollo landing picture and I want to have an astronaut standing out from the picture. So I'll print the astronaut out again and then cut him out with these two side tabbed edges. So they both fold out, stick on the very end folds and then when you place it down, it will create a relief standing out from the rest of the picture. Because it's got the double crease, it can still flatten when folded in half or closed. Base tab mechanism. With this mechanism, we're creating a hinge which will raise a central part of your picture out of the page. So first, get one picture, in this case my painting of the Saturn V launch, and get a second copy and work out which part you're wanting to raise. So I'm wanting to cut out the rocket with the blast smoke underneath. Cut that out of the second picture, but leave a section at the bottom, a larger squared rectangle. Work out where the central divide is and fold this part, and then create two tabs in a V shape, almost like a pair of legs split apart, which you need to cut. These will act as the hinge, which will raise the rocket when you open the book. So cut these tabs out carefully, fold them over, and then line it up where you're going to put it into the book. Make sure the crease is in the right place, and then glue the tabs and stick them onto the page itself when open. Once you've pressed down, it should act as a spring. You may fold it a few times to make sure it's working, but then it should be the case that as it opens, the rocket springs up. Box mechanism. For this design, it's simply a case of folding the page in half and then on the spine, cutting two equal two centimeter long lengths and folding that part over. Then folding into the book to create a box shape. To put that into practice, I'm gonna use my Apollo landing picture. So I want the Eagle landing module to stand out. That's about two centimeters tall. And now I've got to work out from those two centimeters the top of a fold will be just above that. So I fold it over in half. I've got those two centimetre slots. If I cut them on their own, having just checked that it is the same length on both sides, cutting them on their own, it wouldn't fold out. As you can see here, I've put a couple of slices in and it wouldn't work on its own. So I need to cut the two centimetres the other side of the fold also to create the box shape. Then fold it over, you can fold it back as well, behind to begin with, to create a more permanent crease. 
and then mount this onto another sturdy piece of card to create a backing to it so you don't have a hole in the back of your page but only stick the frame on don't stick the box because the box needs to spring out and then when you open it there's your box pull tab mechanism this is probably the most complicated design so once you've got your picture get two versions of it and cut out the piece that you want to be moving in this case I want my Saturn 5 rocket painting to look like it's raising off the launch platform then in the middle of the card work out a gap and cut a very thin little sliver in it. Just make sure it's wide enough so you can get a piece of card through. Then get a second piece of card and make sure it's long enough so it pokes just out the top as well. That's going to be the mechanism with which to pull the rocket up. Draw a line on it so you know where it is and then cut out in a checkered pattern a few slotted edges and fold them over. These will tuck through the slot in the original picture and we will stick those to the rocket. So tuck them through, add a little bit of glue to the tabs and then stick the other rocket image on top in line with the first piece. And then when you pull the tab at the top, it will raise. You can always put a little sign on to tell the person to do so and that's how you get the movement in your picture. So there you go, a few more complex designs but ones that you could get your head around if you have a couple of goes at. Maybe put them all together and create some really interesting overall narrative for a book that you could give someone to read. I look forward to seeing how you get on and do remember you could always go back and watch video one to understand some of the basics again. My name is Alex Stutchbury. Goodbye. To learn more, watch video one, Basic Designs.